In this video, let's take a look at how you can make Document 360's notifications feature work for you. There's going to be a lot of activity on many different areas of your project as you build your knowledge base, and it's important for you to know what is happening whenever a change takes place. This can be especially important when you work in teams. Someone may be forking your articles, someone else may be creating categories, another team member may be responsible for publishing articles, and another in charge of the overall look and feel of the public-facing knowledge base. Document 360's notifications feature helps you stay on top of things as your knowledge base is built and changes happen. The notifications page has three different tabs. Let's take a look at each of them. The first is the notifications channels tab. Document 360 ships with email notifications out of the box and you can specify who gets notified when an event happens in the edit section. Here, you specify the channel name and who will receive alerts. You may also be using other messaging platforms within your organization. Document 360 supports a few other notification channels, which include Slack, Microsoft Teams, Webhook, and SMTP. You can configure these channels by clicking on the Add New Channel button. The next tab is Notification Mapping. Document 360 provides you with a long list of events that can trigger notifications and you don't want to be bombarded with alerts for every single event that is triggered as your knowledge base gets built. Notification mapping helps you decide what kind of notifications you want to be alerted to and where you want to send those notifications at a very granular level. For example, let's say you only want to receive alerts for whenever an article gets deleted from the documentation and you want that notification to be sent to your email channel. Just deselect everything but the article deleted option in the documentation editor section. Then click on the map to channel icon. Here you have the option of creating a new channel. But since we want an email notification, just enable the email channel. In this way, you can set things up to send all the noisy and low impact alerts to a notification channel like Slack and have high impact notifications like a URL mapping update or an article redirect change to be sent to your email channel. The third tab is Notification History and as the name suggests, here is where you can keep track of all activities that have triggered a notification. If you need to dive deeper into a specific notification, you can click on View Details and get more information on the specifics. Utilizing the power and flexibility of the notification system in Document 360 not only helps you keep an eye on the progress of your project, but can also improve collaboration between teams and individuals as you build your knowledge base. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out more videos in the tutorial section.